More victories this week in some very conservative states. We're now closer than ever to the start of marriage in Arkansas and Mississippi. Florida has refused to issue driver's licenses to a couple after they married and changed their last name. And support for marriage has skyrocketed in Wyoming. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum and welcome to Marriage News Watch for December 1st, 2014. This week's big wins were in Arkansas and Mississippi. In both states, federal district court judges ruled that marriage bans are unconstitutional, but they also imposed a stay on their decisions so that the states will have time to appeal. Both of those appeals are going to be a little complicated. The Arkansas case will go to the Eighth Circuit, but there's also a separate case before the Arkansas Supreme Court right now. They could rule at any time, and it's hard to say how that decision would affect the federal case. In Mississippi, the case will go to the Fifth Circuit. Oral argument is already scheduled for early January in the Fifth Circuit in cases in Louisiana and Texas. So if the state moves fast, the Mississippi case might join them as well. Attorney General Jim Hood and Governor Phil Bryant have already filed notice to appeal. There's a new lawsuit in Florida. The state canceled the driver's licenses of a gay couple after they married in New York and hyphenated their last name. Even though it is their legal last name now, the state of Florida is refusing to recognize it. So they've sued. Over in Wyoming, a new survey shows public support for marriage is up to 53% to 39% opposed. That's a big jump from 10 years ago when support was at just 24%. And in Michigan, Attorney General Bill Chouette has asked the U.S. Supreme Court not to take up a marriage case and allow the state's marriage ban to remain in place. Supreme Court could be making a decision about whether to hear the Michigan case any day now. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube for more on all these stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.